Yeah, welcome everybody. Welcome to today's presentation. Welcome. I hope you people enjoy your day. I hope you are okay. So today we are kicking off a, another chapter of this journey. So welcome back. Remember that cyber security is shared responsibility. So make sure you are following up, you are relating to your fellows, you are making them know what they're supposed to do. It is not a personal issue, it's a general problem. So today, we we'll take a good look at the topics we will be covering in the presentation. So today I will be going through all the topics that we're supposed to cover in this presentation, creating a kind of insights. This is how I have structured this topic, cybersecurity, to let us know what we're supposed to know about the cyber world and take a good step towards it. Definitely we have started this step by participating in the cyber security lectures that have kicked off last week. We are saying just pay attention, flow it step by step and you will not regret. So today we present the topics and the first topic we are going to treat here is the cyber security basis. Here we are going to treat the cyber security basics that you're supposed to know. The second topic is the cyber security mites. The fourth, th third one is password creation and management. How do you create your password? Or do you think that the password that you have is okay? We'll be treating all this and the third topic and how you manage your passwords. The fourth one is the antivirus programs and how to choose the good one. Many people might have antiviruses in their devices, but is it the good one that they are using? Or are you just using antivirus in the name of using? So treat the best antivirus that you're supposed to use. The fifth one is the anti-hacking tools. I will show you, will tell you, give you the tools that you're supposed to use to account to uh, counterattack hacking hackers or, or, or we call it anti-hacking tools. The sixth one is security holes. The seventh one is data security and encryption. All this next slide. Browser securities. I will be teaching you how you can manage your browser, how you can secure your browser, because in your browser you have many data there. But how do you protect all this? How do you save what you have there from attackers? How do you hold it very tight so that it will not slip away from you? Many of us might have a passwords, have our account details online, but all this is in browser and you need to protect them. That is why we are putting this particular aspect of it. So it's very, very crucial. Even if you don't know any other thing, you have to learn this and know how you can navigate it, how you can set it, how you can make your browser look, how your browser will look. And even if your device is, is, is stolen or whatever, your data there will remain intact. It will not, nothing will happen to your data. The next one is the Wi-Fi security. Are you part of us that normally use any Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi? 
Are you part of all that? Normally, just on your Wi-Fi anyhow. I think that is Wi-Fi. After all, the person is not holding your data. I must tell you that from your Wi-Fi, any attacker can come and steal whatever you have in your phone. Yes, any attack on your phone or on the Wi-Fi can steal whatever you have on your device, whether it's phone, whether it's laptop, desktop, whatever that you used in browsing. Any attack there on the Wi-Fi can get all the information you, you have on your devices. Another one is email security. Yes, we know too well that email have its own security because of the web. They are all web and it has its own security that they have input there already. But how do you secure it? Because their own might not be enough for you. Social media security. Yes, social media security. You know all of us use password. You can use password to secure your social media like the Facebook, like the Instagram, like the TikTok, like the... Uh, what are they? There are many. Twitter and the rest of them. Yes, remember, if this, if this social media is not secured, definitely anything can happen. Anything can happen. So you need to secure your social media. But is password enough? Password is not enough to secure security. If not, you will not be hearing, oh, so I have lost my Facebook account. I've lost my Instagram. Or somebody hacked my Facebook account that I cannot use it again. Or all those rest of them that you should not send any message to so -so -so. this thing again. Or maybe when they send message to you, no, it is not me that is sending it. All these are what is playing around in social media. And it's because of the security aspect of you. If you don't secure it very well, definitely you are a victim already. You get it? So the next one is cloud security. How do you secure the cloud? What I mean cloud security is what you have, the data that you have uh, in the cloud. Many of us don't know how to save our our uh, our data. So let me say uh, our uh, folder since in, in cloud you can actually save it there and secure it there so whenever that you need it you'll be able to get it there whether your device is lost well like for instance i have so many pictures that i can't afford to lose i can save it on cloud when you save it on cloud and lock it you can lock it on cloud nobody can access it nobody can hack it to use your picture for obituary or whatever that they're planning to use your picture for or to scam so you can lock it there whenever you need to use it you can actually access it next slide identity theft yes in this particular place you see we all have identities on, on social media i will be revealing to you the theft there those that steal it how they steal it and all the rest of them and you will know how you can protect yourself. Threat detection and prevention. You'll be able to know a threat. Maybe somebody is threatening you. Maybe all this thing is happening within your, within your vicinity. You know that this particular thing is a threat. How do you know that this particular thing is there? Maybe somebody is threatening you on Facebook. How do you know that this is just a main threat? And how do you prevent it? That is, that is, that, is, that is what we are trying to, to pull out here. How do you prevent it? How do you navigate about it? And the last one is how to protect kids and the elderly online. We all have kids at home. We have had the elderly ones at home. How do you protect them? Because without protecting them online, definitely they are going to fall victim because kids might not know all these things. How do you protect them? This is the last one that we have to present on this uh, uh, topic. So in our topic, we are going to... So as you can see, we are here for a serious issues facing cyber world. It is not ordinary. It is not ordinary. So we are going to tackle this one by one, following it one by one, and we will tackle it and sort 
all the problem attached to it and this is why we are here and we are here next slide please oh it's finished also now please subscribe for further info update i always put like this subscription aspect of it because it is a a a, a reason showing that you are following if you subscribe whenever we drop any when we have a, a, a class like this whether you are present or not whether you participate or not you'll be able to share from it that's why we are even putting it online if not this is a very crucial aspect of human life is our business we are not supposed to be sharing everything online but because of you out there that needed it because all of us need it but possibly you are not here and we are not collecting one it is subscription is not they are not asking you to pay the only thing is that you subscribe so that whenever a new information is being dropped you'll be able to see it you get so don't hesitate to subscribe don't hesitate to watch all these all these videos something that will help each and every one of us it will help us so thank you very much for watching thank you for your, the participation thank you for flowing up with what we are doing it shows that all of us are flowing thank you very much